Good morning. I love bald people. You've come to the right place, Silverblade. Today we're going to be doing a level called Future Funk by Jonathan GD. It's a really cool XL level. I think it's, I don't know, it's two and a half, three minutes long? I don't know. It's pretty long. And I gotta say, this level's long and it's a hard demon. But the gameplay is awesome and it always feels entirely fair. There's even like this dual part at the end, which looks really daunting at first. But you get to that part and it once you practice it a little bit, it plays really well and there's a lot of room for error. But you certainly do got to know your shit when you get to it. It's awesome. This level is so good. I love everything about this level. It's great. Now what it says right here is it says uh, it's a remake of Clutterfunk and High Life mixed into one. That's cool. Great. You can see there's definitely at the beginning, there's a bunch of Clutterfunk stuff. I haven't played High Life, so I don't know. And you can die at 99%. You like, your cube fades behind a wall and you can see it still. You can see the outline of it. And then you got to hit the, uh, you got to hit these jump rings like super late. It's insane. <laughs> and people have died there before. Okay. Anyways, let's play the level. Um, I think... I want to go through in practice mode to refresh myself. So let's just do one quick round of practice and I'm going to show you guys like the tricky bits. See, this is like, you can totally see the, uh, the nod to Clutterfunk, right? Cause this is like so Clutterfunk style. <laughs> I love that glitch effect, by the way. That's so cool. You got to go up, by the way, you got to hit that black jump ring. Took me a little while to figure that out. Probably cause I'm dumb. I like the difficulty. It's long and hard, but fair. I just love things that are long and hard so much. That transition right here is kind of tricky because you got to jump right away. Well, kind of right away. I, I find that I need to kind of mentally pre prepare for when I go through there. I can't just kind of like sight read it as I go. Uh, and this jump, you got to jump right away right there. Otherwise, the, uh, the spikes falling down will kill you. Or whenever I stream something, whether it's Geometry Dash... I get, come on, Eric, play Mario Maker, play Granny. Then when I stream those games, it's like, I'll oh, play Geometry Dash. What are you doing? And it just, you just can't win. You just can't win, you know? Okay, so for this part right here, you don't actually hold down the button. A lot of times on slopes and levels, you can hold down the button, but you just kind of like touch it and then let go and then straighten yourself out. See, look at Clutterfunk. You can see that, right? The Clutterfunk inspired stuff. Wee <laughs> Wave part's pretty easy, pretty chill. That part right there, you gotta wait till you're off the ledge to jump. Like, you gotta wait till you fall off the edge. It's really easy to jump too early there. You wait till you're off the edge, and then you jump. And the rest of these jumps are so easy. <laughs> Same with this part. But you can touch the bottom there when you're the mini wave. Oh, sorry, you gotta wait there, yeah. Normally, I have a hard time with spider parts. This spider part, very fair, very easy. Now, there's two ways to go here. Well, there isn't. If you go the top way, you die. You got, <laughs> you got to go the bottom way. You just follow the route that. Oh God. Yeah, the spider part's nice and chill. Now this part here is weird. Like, I can't do it consistently. Actually, I did find a way to do it consistently, but like, it's really easy. It's really easy to die there. And I didn't go my consistent route. I just got super lucky. The way that I consistently do it is I always wait. When I fall, I jump. So I fall and jump, fall and jump and hold down the button. Fall and jump and hold down the button. Fall and jump and hold down the button. I don't know why, but that way works and it's the way I've remembered. There's multiple ways to go through there, but there's also multiple ways that you can die because of the nature of those blocks. It's, it's trippy. You gotta find your own way. The way I did it personally works for me. And now comes the duel. Great. My duel was missing. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this duel is what makes this level hard. So the nice thing about it though, is there's arrows. Every time you have to jump, there's an arrow there. And those help so much. It's such a cool duel because it's an asymmetrical, crazy long duel, but because of the arrows, it helps you. But there's a couple things you need to know because sometimes you need to press the button lightly and sometimes you need to press the button hard. The first part's really easy. Right here, you press the button really lightly because there's a blue jump ring on the bottom and if you press the button hard, you jump in the air and you die. See, if I hold down, see, I press the button really hard. I was going bam, bam, bam. And then like it jumped. So right there, you press the button super lightly. Toop, 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 like that. And then just jump twice, jump a third time. And it's, it's beautiful, right? So this next jump, you jump hard because as if you just press it really lightly, you don't go up far enough as the ship on the bottom. And you don't even have to press it that hard. It's just like a, a tap that you hold for a split second extra. Boom, 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 boom. And now this part right here 
is one of the harder parts. And when you get here, you're flying on the top and you have to keep yourself steady there while you push the button as the uh, ball. The ball timings are really easy, so you can focus on the ship. You just go like one, two, three, four, and then you kind of press that jump ring at the top, hold down the button a little bit extra, don't press it lightly, otherwise you'll die to the saw blade, and then you change into the robot. The robot, you gotta do some jumps, but you not like super mini jumps. You can die if you jump too low. Just a little bit more than a mini jump. A little bit more. And then here you jump big. And then there you tap it and should do a small jump at the very end. So this dual part, when you put it all together, is uh, the toughest part of the level. But it's a very fair duel. It's a fair asymmetrical duel. It's all about knowing what to do. The skill factor isn't super high once you know what you're doing. Easy. But you gotta get ready. That part can really catch you unaware. The reason being is because like, if you don't press anything, you fall down and you die right away. You really gotta get it in your head that this transition's coming up. So you jump through there and then straighten yourself out. Ooh, hit the button, switch gravity, mini jumps, ba boom, 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 boom. Um, not too tight of a wave section, but you know, it can be a little daunting for some people. That mini wave could be daunting for some people. And now we get to the end. And the end is like, <gasps> you gotta hit those late. You can die there so easily. The timing has to be pretty spot on. Not that spot on, just hit those late. Oh my God, you can die there and people have died there. Insane. Let's do this Future Funk by Jonathan GD. Excited to play it with the music. Because the music is awesome meatball. too. A spicy meatball, Anthony, Koa, thank you so much for subbing. Team Koa, you guys already do so much for me. But thank you so much. I appreciate your support every day, all day long. I still remember that Breath of the Wild stream where you guys like shocked the shit out of me. Thank you so much. It's so funky. I guess that's why it's called Future Funk, right? <laughs> oh, Eric, don't die. Yeah, it's just like, it's so nerve wracking because the level is so long, right? Not that difficult, but... But whatever. I don't get nervous. I always get nervous. Playing levels like this, like long levels, I get super sweaty palms. But I mean, it is pretty chill though. It is pretty chill. I do get nervous playing this game, but with a chill level like this, come on. Just relax. I get super nervous playing Fairy Dust four times speed though. Oh, this song is so dope. I love it. Oh my god, that was really close. And, you know, if you die, you gotta go all the way back to the beginning. I'm only a quarter of the way through the level. Oh my god. Oh yeah, whew. Glad I remembered that. Thought I was gonna forget that and die at some point. I wonder when I'm gonna die. Clutterfunk, baby. The memories. Whew, I almost forgot about those too. I really gotta ingrain this stuff in my head a little better, huh? Oh, this level's so cool. Wow, that was really dangerously close. Probably gonna die to the duel. Lot to remember here, though. Can I remember it all? Ah, nope! <laughs> oh, man, I hit that way too late, that jump ring. I second-guessed myself. That was a sick first attempt, though. It's like a perfect balance, and it's got some cool effects in the background and stuff. And the gameplay is is awesome as well. It's really good. It's really good. I don't know. Something about this level. It's one of my favorite long demons. It makes me want to go and play Dark Travel. I never did play Dark Travel by Jonathan when it came out. I practiced it a little bit and I was like, wow, it, it was like really hard for a travel level. And so I didn't end up going back and finishing it. Um, but I kind of want to come back to it, you know. God, it's getting light. It's so hot in here. Holy shit. Whose idea was it to wear a beanie inside? That's so dumb, right? What? You hit the top there, the tail end of the ship hit the top? Are you kidding me? Oh, what? I pressed the button too early? Come on. I went down as the ball. Well, uh, that was, uh... I'm feeling confident that we'll be able to do this. That was a bit of a brain fart. I was way too early on that button input. Hey Eric, how do you not lose control on your anger when doing levels this harder, harder levels? Uh, it 
some levels I do. Some levels I just inherently don't like. And I get angry at them. Like ICDX. <laughs> but on levels like this where I like the level, I don't- I feel a whole lot less angry, you know? Because the level's designed so well, right? Like, how could you be angry at it? I only get angry at levels when I feel it's like, kinda cheap. Cheap difficulty. If a level's hard but fun, I don't care, you know? I can get upset with myself. But when I truly get angry is when a level like... When a level just has like some cheap transitions or something, you know? <sighs> ah, Spider-Man! <laughs> I, I wanted to say, oh my god, like, spider, the spider. Man, not Spider-Man. Like, I can't believe the spider killed me. Oh man, the spider. But it came out as Spider-Man. Oh, what? I didn't go down fast enough? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. That's terrible. Ouch. I guess you gotta go down pretty quick there, don't you? When you get past the duel, you kinda hope that that's gonna be your victory run, you know? I love your granny gameplay. I hope they'll get a new game mode like Impossible. I hope not. <laughs> I mean, the new extreme mode update is like already as hard as the game should get. <clears throat> I think some more customizable options would be nice though. Pro tip, don't die and get good, you pleb. Thank you, Nova. As a matter of fact, because you gave me that advice, maybe this will be the time that I win. Right?
It's a spicy meatball. Oh my god! Yes! Oh, I didn't die at the end! Oh my god, my heart! My poor heart! Unbelievable! Holy shit, Jonathan! You trying to give me a heart attack? That is some of the most stressful shit! <laughs> oh my god, I swear my heart skipped a beat like right before there. I was like, don't die here! <laughs> oh my god! I was panicking during the wave parts too. I missed, spicy meatball. I missed a jump ring one time and like I just barely made it into a wave. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that. I just, there's like three jump rings and I hit two of them and I like just barely touched the wave portal. And I was like, oh my god, I was stressing out so hard. Amazing level. That took me 558 attempts. Thought it took me more than that. Not too shabby. Wow, nice. Uh, a lot of those were spent practicing the duel and a couple of the trickier bits, finding out some stuff. But uh, but that was great. Yeah, wow, that was that was really great. I uh, absolutely love Future Funk. It's actually probably in my top 10 favorite levels of all time. I love it. Future Funk and Lonely Travel are my two favorite, like, XL levels. And uh, this is right up there with Lonely Travel. Lonely Travel is one of my favorite levels of all time. Jonathan GD, fantastic creator absolutely amazing if he has a youtube channel i'm going to link it in the description down below go check him out uh damn just fantastic awesome creator makes me excited for other levels there's the lost existence which just came out and there was butiti that i never played i hear is good and also dark travel i've always wanted to go back and learn it uh, really cool. I love it how the effects look really cool, but they don't interfere with the gameplay. That's a really important thing for me, is making sure that even though th there's cool visuals, they don't interfere with the gameplay. Everything was very clear where to go here. It was easy to sight read it. Even the dual part, you can tell what to do. And the dual part's fantastic too. It's one of my favorite asymmetrical duels ever made. I absolutely love it. It's forgiving, but you still need to know your shit when you're going through there. This level is awesome. This level is just absolutely fantastic. I'm a huge fan. And Jonathan, you kicked ass. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, peace.